What up guys, this is Kong, and today I'm back again for another anime reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Ball Super Episode 129. Man, this episode is worth waiting two weeks for, or you know, two weeks. And boy, I gotta tell you guys, I watched this episode twice in HD, full screen, 27 inch. And I wish I I watched it on 40 inch, but you know you get what I'm saying. It's this episode was great. It was epic. It was beautiful. It was, mwah, you know, this is what I gotta say. I, I I could end it here, but you know I gotta talk about it for you guys. So Dragon Ball Super is a continuation of the fight. We all know that. So it's the fight between Jaren and Goku. Goku go into Ultra Instinct, and he trying to you know beat go uh, trying to beat Jaren, but Jaren just so so powerful, he's so he's much stronger than Goku is. The uh go, the, the 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 state that he is in, uh, Goku is in. Um, so and Goku is like, and they and then you did they, they, Goku just can't manage to uh strike. Jiren because the problem with Ultra Instinct is that in order to throw a punch you have to think and I talked about this earlier in my earlier episode is like uh, you have we as being when we fight we have to think the strategies involved there's technique involved and what not and and Ultra Instinct is the opposite of that it's like you don't think at all you let it happen. You let it. You almost have to let your mind go and let your body do all the work. And and then and, um, Ultra Instinct is more of the defense side. Um, and at this point, Goku hasn't mastered the offense of uh, uh, of um, Ultra Instinct because he's been on that level on that Ultra Instinct level or the progression that he hasn't moved into actually mastering both offense and defense uh, Ultra Instinct because he's only half one half of the technique he doesn't have or form and he's at the handicap so go so Jaren has the power on top of that so man and go on Jaren does not hold back. He literally go ham on on Goku. Like he throw punches so fast. These two guys throw punches fast. Like they it, it looked like they were just stand, they were just standing still, and that's how fast they were going. And so and then at that one at one point, uh, Goku trying to like he's going. He's going after Jiren, and he about to blast Jiren with his uh, Kamikame, his you know his signature move. And then Jiren just like do the fire, the you know fire blast, and he deflect Goku back. And Goku took a hit, a hit. But he had he had used his Kamikame as a defense. Uh, that was interesting, like how he used uh, as a defense, and that was kind of interesting too. You know, like oh okay, it took. Jiren I uh, took Goku out of his uh, Ultra Instinct form, um, and Jiren and then Jiren jump off really, 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 really fast. Like, boy, like he was going fast. And then Goku turned back into uh, Ultra Instinct, and again, and he go, they go at it, they would go at it, and they start fighting, you know, throwing punches and shit and stuff. You know, the, the, the fighting stage is going to get in destroys and everything. It, it literally, like, when they throw punches, you see lightning coming out. You see explosion going through. You see just, man, it's chaotic. It was chaos. It was beautiful. Chaos and, and beauty. The beauty of chaos. It's just, mwah, I can't emphasize enough. And then, Goku just can't, ta can't hit Jiren because of that. That he hasn't enabled, or he hasn't uh, mastered Ultra Instinct yet, and he hasn't uh, uh, 
master the offense side of go go ultra instinct. So Jaren's like and then Bill Bermuda Bermuda, however you want to say his name, say hey, you need to take out Goku right now because if you don't, he's gonna come back. And so Jaren does jumps up, he stare down, and he's like, it's like pressure. It's like, but he's punching. Like he's literally punching, and then um, he does his pressure down, and then Goku's like standing down, like with his arm down, because the pressure is going down on him, and he's standing on this piece of rock that is like crumbling, you know, by pieces, and then like damn, and everybody's like, oh shit, you know, it's either he his defense goes out or he uh, he loses his footing, like he he loses the rock that he's standing on, and then. Uh, Topo is like, oh shit, is that a, a, a spark? Is that a flash? And you see it, and, then, and you can see his arm was like vibrating. Right. And he was, he was defending when he had his hand down. I was like, oh my god, damn! Oh shit. And this reminds me of Flash. I was like, he put a flash on all of us. I was like, damn. Goku with his hand down, and yet he was still defending. He was still throwing a punch with his hand was down. It's like, fuck, mind blowing. And so, you know, eventually he got his arm, he pulled a fist, and he started like literally going after those those punches, and he, he's defending. And that's the cause for Goku to go on the uh, uh, his ultra instinct to go into the offense mode because he's pressure he's put in in that position to fight back to punch back, and he's like punching. So you see his hand vibrating really quick, and he doesn't look like he's punching, but he's literally punching so fast that we don't know that he's actually punching, but he is punching back. And I was surprised, I was like, what the fuck is Goku doing? And they tell that, I was like, oh my god, I was, oh, damn. And then he, he got a hit on Go on Jiren, Jiren felt it, and Jiren was like, oh shit, that was a definite hit. Damn. And I was, I said the same thing too, I was like, damn. Whoa. So this dude had his hand down, defending at the same time. Beating all the punches that Jerry's throwing down and managed to get through. I was like, fuck, man. Damn, Goku. And then Goku, and then he punches down, and then Belmont's like, fuck, man, you need to kill this. You need to take him out. Take Goku out of the game, you know? And Jerry's like, release all, his, and then, um, and then. Uh, Goku, after, before that hit, after that hit, Goku released all the, I don't know, the, the heat that he has, he was building up, and it, it created a universe. I'm like, what the fuck? A universe inside of a void? And then, it made, and then I was like, oh, what the, f man, this, fuck, what's going on, you know? And then Jaren, like, he, like, I'm gonna release all my power, too. And he released all his power and became so big. And they all felt the heat. Everybody on the on the bench, even Zeno felt the heat. And um, he felt all the wave. And it's like everybody was like, "Ah, shit! Hey, we're we're gonna get destroyed too," you know. And because th th these guys are going after each other, they're going each other's throat. They're going all in. They ain't no hold no bar back. So. He throw a fireball. Jiren throw a fireball at Goku, and Goku instantly turn into a uh, master. Oh, I think turning into, into turning. At this point, he's turning into a uh, 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 ultra master ultra. Turning into master ultra master ultra instinct, and he just whisks right up, and then he grabs. Uh, he had a hole of. Jaren's freaking fire destruction ball in his hand. I was like, what the fuck is going on, man? What is going on? And he just swiped it. He just blew it off and he, it was gone. I was like, what the fuck? I mean, there was so many what the fuck going on in this moment. In this, 
in this show. I was just my mind blowing. I can't emphasize enough. And go and Jaren try to take a hit, but he can't. And then Goku just like right past him, and then the and then Jaren got all he got punched like like multiple punches, and then final punch and he just flew. Jaren just flew all the way back and hit the wall mountain. I'm like, damn, he turned into. Then finally, Goku turned into Master Ultra Instinct. We finally got it. Finally, all this time you've been waiting for, we got it. It was sweet. Ugh, it was sweet and good. I know, it sounds kind of weird for me saying that, but it felt good. And then nail this. It was, oh man, it was good. It was so deserving to see that. As an audience, like, and then for Goku too, because he finally mastered it, and he's like becoming one with it. He and um, and it, so it was like it was just great. So now let's talk about the thing that I picked out, the thing that the, the audience said, and what's going on. Um, was so cool. These guys, Goku and Jiren, they're fighting at a level that far surpassed any universe fighter at this point. They're just far beyond those anybody else. And maybe they're probably far beyond the God of Destruction. They probably are. Just the sheer punches, sheer kick destroys everything. And it remind me of the Hulk because in the World War Hulk, Hulk le foot literally destroyed the Eastern Seaboard. I was like, damn. And these guys are, I'm gonna say, beyond planet busting power level, you know? And let's not talk about power level because it's, it's sketchy and, sh you know, I don't wanna talk about that. But, and it's like, it, it, that these guys are just fighting on a, a phenomenal, powerful, uh, crazy strength. Um, and, and uh, Ultra Instinct is such a really, really unique uh, fight, fighting form because you don't rely on thinking anymore. You rely on just letting your body control the movement. And, and, and in, the, in the episode, you see Goku close his eye. He doesn't even need to look at the man who he's fighting. So he knows where the guy is coming at him. He's the only... Fighter, it makes sense to close your eye because you don't need to see the guy because your body know where he is. Your body know how to throw the def throw defenses and punches. So it was like crazy. And it's like, okay. And then you also notice that all the God of Destruction stands up. And they realize, oh shit, this is the, this is the development here. And they, they all realize that because all the, all those gods, they have not mastered Go uh, Ultra Instinct yet, and yet you have a mortal who had come up and mastered Ultra Instinct in the Tournament of Power. A mortal, a, a human being, who came, who who had attained that power in such a short instant, where the God of Destruction had not mastered all the time that had come into existence when they become attained that title. So they realize like Goku can become a threat, not a threat, but they realize that they Goku have achieved something that they they have they could not achieve as God of Destruction, and that's why all the God of Destruction stood up and they watch, stare down, and see what happened. And Goku and Nibiru is like he was that kind of angry. But yeah, he was almost kind of like enticed. He was happy because now Beerus have a uh, opponent that who is as powerful, maybe as more powerful than Beerus himself, because Goku have mastered uh, Ultra Instinct is he's essentially beyond God of Destruction. He's closer. To, he's like closer to the angels. You know, and, and um, not ex like extremely close, but he's heading toward uh, the the level of the angels. You know, so like, 
And we see, uh, Beers even asked Weiss, like, is this is it? And Weiss is like, yeah, this is it. Our boy master Ultra Instinct. And uh, it was like crazy. And I was like, damn. And then everybody realized that, you know, Ultra Instinct is the real shit, you know. And even, even Jiren recognized it. He's like, okay, this dude is going to go all in on me. I need to go all in on this motherfucker. Because if I don't, I'm going to get eliminated. I'm going to get a hit. I'm going to get, I'm going to get destroyed by Goku. And it's like, whoa, you know. You know, and Jiren is not a stupid man. He knows where he need to go in. Like, all in with full power, full, full force, full strengths. You know. So... That's the one thing I picked out, and and also, uh, well, I also say that uh, the the two Zeno was kind of they were funny, and they're really you uh, uh, that was really entertaining, and I like that it sort of break up the the fighting, the action. I mean, I like a lot of action, but I like to take a little breather, you know, like take a breath, just step back, laugh a little bit. And it come back into the ash. I'm glad that it did that. And I also noticed that the animation in this episode was epic. It was beautiful. Oh, God damn. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And they put some animator on there. It was beautiful. The color. The explosion. The uh, uh, the explosion when Goku and Jiren fight. It, it looked fluid. It looked like like real explosion. You know, and not just like... Explosion, but it was like fluid explosion. I was like, God damn. It's just like, oh my God. It's so, everybody look good. Everybody look, especially Krillin. Man, he looked jack rip. I mean, he looked, he like, he got out the gym ripping as hell. And everybody looked good. And even when the explosion happened, the wind happened, some of the characters have the hair was moving. I was like, wow. They really pay attention to small detail, like the, like the hair moving. Um, even though that's small, but that's really an effort to really emphasize the, the power the, of the, both of the fighters are creating the wave, <coughs> the heat. And everything and explosions and whatnot. It was the animation. This it was beautiful. It's amazing. It was great. It was uh, uh. and um and the fighting sequence too. They were actually looked like they were fighting, really like human fighting. They weren't throwing punches. They were fighting, you know, actual fighting. You know, it's not straight up brawl. It was fights. You know, it's like yes, we're finally seeing these guys literally fighting. You know, with tremendous power, you know, and strength and force behind their punches. And like I said, if the animation of this is so, so fucking fluid. Like, it's more fluid than water, you know. I know that says sound weird, so me saying, but it's so, it's just goddamn fluid. Like, it's beautiful. They put the animator to work. They, they, they pick out the right people to do this animation. It was just goddamn beautiful. It was like beautiful. Um, that's all I got for you guys, you know. Um, for this episode of Dragon Ball Super 129. Have you seen it? Have you? I Google. Uh, Google oogling this episode. Were you mind blowing? Were you have so many what the fuck moments? Were you like laughing? Were you were like, goddamn, what's going on here? What's going on? Just, were you lost for word? I was lost for word, you know. I, I didn't know what was going on. So, but anyway, most importantly, guys, please like, thumbs up, share, browse, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's more, there's more content on there, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. Please do so, and press that, that bell button, because you will know when I upload a video for you guys to check out of reviews and whatnot. All right, guys, please do so. It helped me and it helped you. Most importantly, you, because you are my audience. All right, you are my family. You are my fan, and I am your, you know, your host. But anyway, most importantly, 
most importantly, guys, I want to thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my review of Dragon Ball Super 129. This episode was hype as fuck. It was, uh, it was good. It was fluid. It was sweet. It was, it was deserving. But anyway, take it, guys. Bye bye.